Hey fourth graders, Miss Hutchinson here in my backyard to help you do mystery science. Hopefully you've already watched the videos that go before this activity on mystery science. And if not, please head over to my Google Classroom and click the link for the mystery science, why do some volcanoes explode? Maybe you wanna try this at home and you have all the materials. Great, follow along with Doug and the worksheet and you're ready to go. If you don't have materials or you don't wanna make a mess at home, here I am to show you how it goes. Now, I don't have a printer here at home, but I've got the worksheet pulled up on my iPad, and I'm gonna just go step by step through the worksheet like Doug says to do. Ready to get started? All right, here we go. The first thing I need is to gather all of my materials. I've got my thin lava, got my thick lava, some paper plates, some spoons, and a straw ready to go. Now on the worksheet, the first thing we wanted to test is about bubbles. And I've got it back here. My first question is which is easiest to blow bubbles in? So let's give that a try. I'm going to start with my thin lava. Okay, I can stir it. It seems pretty thin. Well, that's pretty easy. Bubbles are coming right up every time I blow into the lava. Now it wants to know, can I blow just one bubble in the lava? Let's try. Kind of, but it's a little. All right, we're gonna try that thick lava now. It's really, really thick. So I gotta get a little closer so you can try and see the bubbles. Whoa. Do you see that? It seems like I really only get one bubble at a time. Let's try it again. Wow, really, it's very different from the other one, isn't it? One bubble at a time is pretty much all I can do with the thick lava. Now the last question for this first experiment is, how are the bubbles different in each type of lava? So let's look, that, look at them again quickly to compare. Here's my thin lava. Check out these bubbles. Lots of bubbles coming up all the time, always breaking the surface. Here's my thick lava again. Ready? A lot less bubbles and it takes longer to get to the top. So it seems like it's harder to blow bubbles in that thick lava. Do you agree? Let's move on to experiment two. On to lava experiment two. In this one, we're gonna see what kind of mountain each type of lava would make. So once again, let's start with our thin lava. I'm gonna use my spoon and put a little on a plate and see, can I make a mountain? Hmm. Not really. And even if I try to move it around, it doesn't really stay in one spot, does it? All right, the worksheet asks us to draw what our mountain looks like. So let's give it a try on the whiteboard. It kind of came out and it just went everywhere. I wouldn't even say it has much of a shape. A little bit here as it collected in the edge, but not really a mountain. So it just kind of spread all over the place. I've got a clean plate and I'm ready to try my thick lava. Let's see what kind of mountain we make with that thick lava. Ooh, it's very sticky, kind of like paste. All right, one more scoop. Check that out. It's really not going anywhere and I can make it into even more of a mountain with my spoon. Yeah, that's definitely much more of a mountain than the last one was. So let's draw it on our worksheet. Much taller mountain this time. I'd say it looks more like this. Don't you agree? What do you think? In the Explore videos on mystery science, Doug talked about two different types of volcanoes, shield volcanoes and cone volcanoes. Our final question is to think about which type of lava each volcano has. 
Now a shield volcano tends to spread out very quickly and stay pretty flat. So what type of lava, based on our experiment, do you think a, a shield volcano has? Now let's compare that to a cone volcano, which tends to be steeper and look more like a cone. What type of lava do you think a cone volcano has? Head back over to Mystery Science and watch the wrap-up video to see if you're right. Also, Doug talks about what kind of bubbles make a volcano explode. That's it for this time. Stay curious until next time, scientists.